Hello all, and welcome to this Saturday afternoon's beer review. So I'm going to be moving back to my original schedule next week. Thank goodness. Don't like this off on Fridays and Saturdays business, because I like working my weekends. You know? Um, it, it's just something I like. So I'm going to dub this one the Oktoberfest Continued Review because we're going to be reviewing those beers that you get during the Oktoberfest season. And we're moving on to Polliner Oktoberfest Marzen, which ironically is sold year-round. This is 5.8 ABV. Obviously, a German beer from Munich. And uh, let's read the back now, shall we? Quality and heritage brewed with uncompromising standards that strictly adhere to the Reinheitsgebot <laughs> using only four ingredients, water, hops, yeast, and malt, for nearly 400 years. Bar brewed and bottled by the Polliner Brewery Group. I don't know what those uh, acronyms stand for. I'm sure, certain it means something in German. So yeah, let's just go and pour this one out. Looking forward to a nice multi beer. Pouring it into the regular tasting glass here. And a decent amount of carbonation, a clear golden amber color with a off-white head. Not much head for some reason. Okay, so biscuity malts, almost honeyed, topped by old world hops, so a slight floral, um, a little heavier spiciness. But base is the malts. Brown bready, kind of sweet smelling. And now, onto the palate. Hmm. So still very malt forward, but this is. My first impression is this is one of the uh, hoppiest Marzins I've had that's not, like, declared a hoppy Marzin. So, this is a traditional German beer, but this is pretty hoppy for um, a traditional German beer of this style. Got some nice brown bread. Top note is of brown bread with a slight spicy hoppiness to it. That really lasts until the long finish. Finish is mostly clean, just some hot bitterness remaining on the palate. I'm going to go and hold it like this to go and get it to warm up a little bit faster. Yeah. So malt forward in the front, but those hops kick in pretty quickly. And it's sort of that bitter, 
bittering hops um, with those very old world aromatics, leaning more towards the spice side while it's on the palate. You taste those residual sugars there. I'm kind of enjoying this. Yeah. See, I didn't go and sample this beforehand, so this is kind of new to me. If I could do this again, I would have left it out of the refrigerator for a bit longer. Just so that sweet, the sweetness of the malts could rise up a bit. Um, it's not warming up quite fast enough yet, but I have a feeling that the perceived sweetness increases as it warms. Yeah, it does. So, more better balances out the hoppiness of it, but I mean, it's not unbalanced at all. It's just, you know, um, I was expecting something, I don't know, um, less hoppy, really. You know, you with these German styles, well, I should say, with these German beers, um, made and brewed in Germany, uh, you kind of get used to a certain presentation that kind of goes across all the major brewers. And this one kind of, it, it's different from the other Marzins that I've tried from the traditional German breweries in that is there's a bit more hoppiness to it, you know, uh, all the rest of them that I've had, they've been they've been different and they've been good. I haven't had a bad German Marzen yet, but they've all kind of been along a certain spectrum, and this one just kind of is notably different. That said, it's not wildly different. It's just that with German brewers, you kind of expect. They are really, really close to style guidelines. They define style guidelines, really, <laughs> for the German beers. And so this one, yeah, it's still within the style guidelines. There's still a, it's still malty, dark malt flavors, malt forward, rich, hearty, filling. But at the same time, it's just... Yeah, much more hoppy than I was expected, but I'm saying that from a subjective standpoint in comparison to other traditional German breweries. Yeah, as it warms up, taking on much more of a honeyed note, still well balanced by that hopping. I have to say, um... I think this could become my go-to German Marzen, honestly. Just because it's not just pure liquid brown bread. That said, not super complex. Marzen isn't a super complex style. It's a hearty autumn beer to be enjoyed with meats and starches. <laughs> while wearing lederhosen and slapping, slap dancing, or you know. <laughs> uh, when I was a little, very little, wee little lad, around three and four years old, my mom went and had, um, bought some authentic lederhosen for me. <laughs> I may not look it, but I'm of part German ancestry. It's a very small part, but I am.
I'm a part, a lot of ancestries, honestly. I'm a Heinz 57 bottle of uh, ethnicities from across the world. <laughs> across three continents, really. And Oceania. <laughs> Anyways, back to this. Definitely give this one a shot if you find it. I, I think this is pretty good. It's um, not cheap as most imports tend to be. This was about $14 for the Sixer. But I am thoroughly enjoying this. Thoroughly enjoying this. And the best buy is by 03 2025. She tells me this is fairly fresh. So, get it if you can, and enjoy it. And that, folks, is your beer review for this afternoon. Cheers.